Welcome to day 17 of the second chosen devotional. Today's message is titled Test Question, and the passage for today comes from John 6, 5 through 6, which reads, Lifting up his eyes then, and seeing that a large crowd was coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread so that these people may eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. Some people don't test well. They're more tactile learners instead. Philip was one of these people. As soon as Jesus asked him where they could get bread for a gathering of more than 5,000 people, Philip went into logistics mode. They were only a few miles outside of his hometown, Bethsaida, so no doubt he racked his brain wondering where he could go and how he could make this thing happen. Duh, he couldn't. And he finally concluded as much. He reported to Jesus that it would take more than half of a year's wages to buy enough bread for each person to have a bite. Oh, Philip. This wasn't week one. He'd already seen plenty of miracles, hundreds maybe. At the very least, Philip should have known that when Jesus asked a question, it's not because he's the one that needs to hear the answer. Jesus didn't expect Philip to know exactly what he was about to do. How could he? He was instead testing Philip to see if he was thinking in the same stratosphere. Was Philip going to evaluate the situation naturally, or would he look to the one who could fix it supernaturally? Would his answer involve faith in Jesus, or a calculator in a gold card? To get a real-time reading on our faith, Jesus knows exactly which question to ask us in exactly the right circumstance. And this was the perfect scenario to test Philip. Had Jesus asked him how a leper could be healed or how a blind man's sight could be restored, Philip would have readily answered, Only you could do that, Jesus. Although correct, it would have been a throwaway response. Those miracles required nothing of Philip, not even faith. Jesus knew that to test Philip with a seeming Jesus knew to test Philip with a seemingly natural, albeit logically impossible, predicament. And Philip didn't do so great. His math problem exposed his faith problem, which was exactly the point. I'm sure that most of us can relate to Philip. We marvel at who Jesus is and what he can do, but as soon as he asks us to participate in a miracle, we immediately go into logistics mode and start cr crunching the numbers. Often, our conclusions aren't better than Philip's. Consequently, our prayers reflect our lack of faith and become little more than grim reports derived from human assessment. Like, I did the math, Lord, and half a year's wages won't cover this college tuition, or these medical bills, or a multi-season series about the life of Christ. Oh, modern-day Phillips. The question is a test, and the test is an invitation. It's an opportunity to shift our focus from what we can't do to what he is going to do. Jesus didn't ask Philip, where are you going to get the bread? Instead, he asked, where are we going to get the bread? Jesus already had a plan. He knew it would how it would all go down, and he was inviting Philip to jump into the same stratosphere, to put down his silly calculator, to hold out his empty hands, and to simply watch Jesus do the impossible math. And on that note, let's now turn to prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we uh, thank you are that, that, that you are the awe-inspiring God that does miracles, Lord. The, the kind that, that we simply can't wrap our heads around um, until we've experienced them, um, usually, Lord. Um, we that we just we just ask today that um, for any circumstance in our life that we might be trying to approach from our human logistical standard, um, just the way that Philip was doing with calculators and numbers and 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 the things that we feel that we are capable of, Lord, uh, Lord, we just we just want to turn over that math to you um, and and say, Lord, we can't do this on our own, and we, and we know that. Um, and so we just want to surrender that to you because we know that it is you that is able to multiply. Um, you that is able to do the impossible, to move mountains, um, to turn a few loaves of bread and, and a couple of fish into something that can feed thousands with tons left over. Um, so, Lord, we just thank you for that. And we just uh, ask for your help in surrendering these things over to you. And we pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All right. And on that note. We'll wrap up today's video. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless. May I keep you.